What's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan. And today we're gonna talk optics. This is the MTC King Cobra F1. This scope is a six to 24 by 50. And um, I'm gonna be honest, there's things about it I really love. There's a couple of things about it that not so much. But we're going to talk about it nonetheless. <clears throat> so first thing I love about this scope is the fact that the caps are screw on. So these caps um, actually thread into the ends of the bell housing um, or the objective and the um, optical end. And uh, they are on magnets. So uh, a quick flip up and it'll start there, flop there, or stay there. And uh, they are magnetic. So on the inside, they will actually stay open uh, where you leave them, uh, as well as um, stay shut, obviously. Uh, it does have a magnifier right here. So as you're looking down the scope, uh, you can actually see where your uh, turrets are set or you can actually move it to the side and it will give you a view of your um, parallax adjustment wheel. Um, I don't personally use it and that's going to address one of my gripes about this scope. <clears throat> First gripe about the scope, actually you know what let's just go on with the rest of the Let's talk about the features first. So 6 to 24 power. Um, the, the magnification ring moves extremely smooth. Um, even at 24 power, um, this scope uh, stays very clear. Uh, I've had this out at the range shooting 100 yards, and I've um, tested it from 6 to 24 power uh, with no point of impact or aim shift. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, I do enjoy it for that reason. Um, the turrets uh, do a great job of returning to uh, zero. Um, so, um, you know, I did go out, I did do a lot of dialing and clicking and things like that and um, dialing back to zero um, from where I was to, you know, just playing around and seeing how well it tracks. Um, I, it did, I moved it back to zero and I was back to shooting. Uh, the exact same uh, point of aim, point of impact. Um, the um, side um, objective wheel is relatively smooth. It, it could be a little tough uh, in right in the beginning, but um, you know I rotated it a little bit here and there, and um, you know it started loosening up and got real nice to use. Um, I can tell you that in my case with my scope. Um, at 100 yards, I moved the um, adjustment or the parallax wheel to 100, and it was spot on. Um, we at my range, as some of you guys have seen in my previous videos, they actually hang up uh, insulation board, the pink uh, styrofoam insulation board. And um, with the parallax wheel at 100 from my bench, uh, I could literally see all of the um, um, you know texture in the board itself so um, I thought that it's pretty spot on the money it is um, so getting to gripes the <clears throat> illumination in this scope is nice but if your eye moves a little out of exact center the illumination bleeds into the um, optic itself so i don't really know how to explain it other than to 
just say just that. So in this scope, you have basically kind of like a multi uh, cross. You have a cross and then at the end of each tip, uh, and here, I'll put a picture of the reticle right here. So now you guys can see the reticle or over here. One of these two places, there's gonna be a picture of the reticle. So just that center cross actually illuminates and it illuminates well. It's very pronounced um, on the higher powers, which thank you. Thank you for doing that because I require that sometimes. Um, but like I said, if your eye shifts just a little bit out of exact center, not necessarily losing your vision through the scope, the, the color seems to just kind of bleed just, just a little. It's not horrible. It's not enough that you're gonna miss your target. It's just kind of distracting. It's distracting to me. Like, I'm like, why, why, why is that doing that? Now at lower, um, let me take a look. Let me just double, triple check before I go and make a foo, I'm gonna see Yeah, lower power, it's not as bad. Um, but if you're at the high power uh, on your illumination, um, like I said, it just, just kind of gets a little blurry. Um, but once again, doesn't take away from the accuracy of the scope or from the point of aim. It just kind of, it's almost like there's a bat glow behind it. It's just a little annoying. That's it. But other than that, the only other gripe that I have is, or two other gripes is one, there's no zero stop. I like zero stops. I want to sight my gun in at 25 yards and set my zero stop and then always know where my clicks are accordingly. And I think some of you guys probably feel the exact same way. The other thing is, is there's no markings on this turret to tell me how far up I've dialed. So for me, um, because I use adjustable rings, I basically dialed my scope down to the bottom and then came up a revolution and a quarter. Well, actually I take that back. I dial it down to the bottom and at zero, which is about a quarter of an elevation turn up, that's my 25 yards. When I want to go up to 100, I basically um, bring it up to my, um, my next mark. But once again, there's no way for me to tell how high up, up or down, um, I need to go to get back to my original um, starting point. So that's a little annoying to me. Now, in all fairness, um, they do actually list this um, scope um, as more recommended for extreme bench rest or hunter field target than they do for plinking field target or hunting. So with that being said, I agree. This is a better optic to use at 50 and 100 yards. So at 50 and 100 yards, it's a little easier to zero this scope and you're not doing a whole bunch of clicking. But I still like those things. I wish it had a zero stop and I wish it told me, even when I lift up on the cap to turn my turrets, I wish it told me exactly how far up or how far down I was. So at least I had a starting point. So with that being said, off of the MTC Optics website, the features, first focal plane reticle, um, aim points don't change with magnification, glass etched crosshair designed exclusively to MTC Optics. Love the, um, the crosshair on this. Um, edge to edge multi coat um, lenses, bright, clear picture quality. I couldn't agree more. Very, very clear scope. Very easy to see through. The eye relief is very forgiving. Um, it's comfortable. Um, you know, seriously, great optic. I'm very impressed. Is this is my first MC or MTC scope? Um, side parallax adjustment. 
15 yard minimum focus, which that's fine. I mean, I'm putting this on, I mean, it's a six to 24 power. I don't really need 10 yards personally. Um, reticle illumination, love it. And I, more than that, I love the fact that just the crosshairs in the center are illuminated. Sometimes when you get those reticles where the whole reticle lights up, it's a little too distracting in those darker times where you're you're trying to focus on your target, but there's just so much light coming back at you. Personally, I, I just prefer the, the crosshairs in the middle to be illuminated. Um, 30 millimeter tube, um, magnetic rotating flip lens covers, fast and practical protection for lenses when in the field, I agree. Uh, I love these things. Uh, full water fog and shock proof. Um, uh, nitrogen purged and um, uh, they do actually make a sunshade for this uh, which I wish that it came with it most of my other optics even in this high-end price range um, I think these are right around 630 bucks 640 bucks something like that um, they all came with the sunshade I think that MTC seriously you guys could have thrown that in but, um, but outside of that, honestly, great optic. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. The, um, the focus ring is nice and, and uh, crisp and easy to, 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 to move. Uh, it seems to stay really well focused. Um, like I said, overall, I cannot complain a bit. My side shot loves this optic. Uh, for those of you guys that have seen my um, Evil videos, um, that's this is the scope that we're looking through. And uh, the side shot just loves to uh, pick up the reticle on this uh, optic. Um, so, with that being said, I mean, honestly, you know, I hate to do this because everybody else does it. But, um, you know, scale of 1 to 10 on this optic, I would say it's a solid 8.5. Um, I, there's no doubt that I would own another MTC optic. There's no doubt that I probably will. Um, I, the glass is absolutely superb. Um, it, it's very easy to use. Like I said, the eye relief is very forgiving. It's not one of those scopes where, man, if you're not right there on the dime, then, you know, you're struggling to see through. No, nope, it's not like that at all. Um, the sunshade uh, kind of detracts from it because like even today I was out shooting a hundred yards with this and um, I had sun coming at me and um, It was kind of playing with the optic until the sun moved um, kind of irritated me, but um, You know outside of that um, Like I said it it does come back to zero quite well. The clicks are very pronounced um, There's there's a little bit of play in between each click but seriously nothing that would like make this scope not worth picking up um seriously i dig it so that's my review of the mtc optics this is the king cobra f1 in 6 to 24 by 50 like i said solid 8.5 anyway 1 to 10 and uh maybe even a nine and certainly would be a nine if the sunshade was included so with that being said i'm moose this is air guns of michigan this is the mtc king cobra f1 be good to each other and god bless